What is going on guys, D1 here, and today I have a quick tip that I'd like to share. This is something that I ran into while working on this little bush you see here. Uh, what I did is I created a very basic texture using simple texture painting and lighting, and baked, baked lighting. And I took this image that you see right here into Photoshop, and I added a few leaf textures and wooden bark textures and all that. Uh, to give it a bit of substance and what ended up happening is because I added the texture after the fact in Photoshop uh, I ended up with these seams that you see right here and the goal of this video is to show you how to get rid of seams like this now the thing is there are two ways to get rid of seams as far as I know and the first one is when you mark seams you make sure that they're in hidden spots uh, that way they're less likely to show even if you do a poor texturing job which you shouldn't do, but just, you know, just in case you run into it. Now, the other way is the method that I'm about to show you using texture painting. So, let's just kind of reset this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure my mesh is selected right here with the texture applied. And I'm going to go to texture painting. Sorry, texture painting. And when I select brushes here, I'm going to go to the soften. And then what I can do is I can increase the strength. By default, it's going to be a little bit lower. And of course, you can increase the size as well if you want it to be bigger. And you just kind of run it along the edge here. And you can see, well, I'm not sure how well you can see it in the video, but it softens up the seam pretty nicely. And that way, it's going to be a lot less noticeable. Now, if you have a lot of details in your textures, then this is probably going to mess with your details a little bit. So you have to do a decent texturing job to begin with, and then this tool is going to be very useful. If you have a really messy seam that is just, you know, you have these huge lines or a lot of details, and there are seams in between, then it's probably going to make your texture look really uh, sort of muddy. So you want to be careful not to do that. But I thought it was a useful thing to share. Just kind of ran into it and wanted to help you guys out. So there you go. I hope you guys find this useful. Thanks for watching and see you guys next time.